So when you talked about availability of parts, right, or the product life cycle, uh, life cycle you know, when you're planning ahead, whether it's just for a prototype or going into pre or, or yeah. full scale production, that's a critical piece for engineers, as you know. So the bi-directional visibility that this gives engineers, then Roger, is that inside your tool, inside the seamless tool, or is sort of a digital thread that just sort of lives there? Um, they can give designers not only things like data sheet, but also give them far more visibility to know product life cycle and those things have, a, again, user experience wise, um, are you, are the engineers inside expedition standard and, and they're looking back or are they inside of microchips environment or they just have a digital grid? So they're together. That's right. I mean, we want to make it a seamless experience. And so the, the PowerQuest uh, design enablement platform is, is embedded into the microchip experience. I see. And so what you're really doing at that conceptual stage, where you're thinking about which microchip part you want to use, what, what are the set of uh, maybe reference designs you want to look at, that's all in the microchip experience so that they've got all those assets available. And then they might want to decide, hey, I want to simulate this, this one, right? And they can do that. And they actually do that in the microchip experience as well, even though that's some Siemens technology behind that. And it's really only when they're committing to doing the design, they've kind of done that initial thought process of what components are going to be the right components, what are the right reference designs, that they'll come into a traditional design tool, expedition standard then to do this. Uh, are way. you using things like AI to get through, you know, hundreds? Uh, can you query when you're trying to do the application specific thing? Can you query an extensive data sheet and find out specifically what you care about with how downloading a giant PDF and flipping through it. Either one of you can respond to that. So I think it's in both. So Matt can start with sure. it. I can start with coding assistant. Right. Um, so, so absolutely. Um, you know, we can take a data sheet. We have what's called a smart data sheet assistant. Okay. And, and like you said, data sheets have now become really, really large. Um, and what the smart data sheet assistant does is allow you to ask um, questions interactively of the data sheet and it will just jump to the right place and give you the right answer. So if you want to know what the output voltage of a particular regulator is, um, it will give you that and jump um, right into that. And this is certainly an area that, that Roger and I think is, is where we want to collaborate further in the future and not just around data sheets, but being able to interactively interrogate around the reference design and so that you can understand what's in the reference design through that AI technology. And again, it's really about bringing that information in a much easier way to the engineer so they can understand it more and more quickly. And then Roger, on the, on the software side, I think you can fill in there as well. Yeah, so on the software side, for, you know, for this particular project, we used a product called MPLAB AI Coding Assistant. And so we created about 80% of the code on this using AI. And part of that was we leverage um, data sheets that have been vectorized. And so you can query the data sheet and you can easily get out, uh, you know, programming specific things, bits and registers and settings for peripherals and things like that. So, you know, again, 80% of my design was done by AI. So my, my, time to market was very quick. I think it took, um, I think he wrote most of the code in like two hours. So have you measured, is it a 20%, is it an 80% time safe for engineers? Like I'd say it's a little early. Our experience with this has been, it was, it was a considerable time saver. It's very impressive results. Well, gentlemen, is there anything I haven't covered? Anything else I should be asking you? So I, I think one of the things is we see this as sort of a change in how engineers are looking to interact with companies like Microchip. And it's not so much I want a component here and now where do I get the sensor from, right? I mean, it's, hey, you've got a complete vertical solution. As Roger said, it might not be perfect for what I want, but it's pretty darn close. And now I want to be able to have an environment that lets me tweak that a little bit and then get into my product development side. You know, from the Siemens side, um, Expedition Standard is, a, is a, a great starting point from our scalable solution. 
As it gets more complex, we have tools to help simulate signal integrity issues, power integrity issues, thermal issues, DFM, DRC. So it's a very broad solution that can grow with the engineers as they start to get more complexity into their design processes. We're super excited about the relationship with Microchip. It's really great. We've both got a great vision together and we're looking forward to moving this forward and helping the industry. Closing thoughts, Roger? I would say stay tuned. There's a lot of exciting things that we're working on collaboratively to bring out even more tools that help um, engineers get their designs done uh, quickly and easier. So, uh, you know, this is the first and probably uh, many steps that we have coming up in the future. Yep. Well, again, gentlemen, thank you so much. Exhibition Designer, we use a supply chain view powered by our re recent acquisition supply frame. So you can actually see the design, the supply chain data as you're designing versus after the fact, because I remember I had to work on a project and we had to do the bomb analysis always after the fact, never during. Yeah. So this allows you to make informed decisions as you go through the design process. Right. Now, does that tool flag if you're in the middle of design and there's a, a part at risk, will it flag it does. you? We have color-coded indicators for our parts. Very so good. green means, you know, active, units in stock. Yellow means multiple distributors or partial records found. And red means there's, a, there's an issue. There's no units or life cycle status is obsolete. So it's really useful. At a glance, you can tell right away if your bomb has issues. And then we also see supply chain data again as we go through the process. Uh, within ParkWest, we have supply chain data as you're searching for parts. Within our cloud-based design review ecosystem, Connect, you have an intelligent bomb that you can use. It'll identify any risks that you have within your, your bomb, so life cycle risk. Um, it also shows you the pricing information. It's, it's all consolidated, and you can email it to people. So you don't need to have a standalone tool. You can share that information. It's really available. Um, and then again, when you do your manufacturing analysis, right before you send your design off to get manufactured, you have the bomb view again. So throughout the whole, I guess, ecosystem, you have supply chain data at your fingertips. I straight out of school, EVA wasn't really on my radar. Yeah. It, it was most definitely just designing, you know, trying to get my fundamentals right as a design engineer. And the EVA stuff was always in the background. I was tell a librarian, hey, go create a part. But I didn't really know everything that entailed anyway from creating your own library to maintaining it to why it doesn't matter if tools work together or don't work together. Once you release a design, where does it go? So once I got into that world, I realized that the experience that a lot of, I guess, EDA admins or even designers is impacted by having a functional flow from start to finish. So it is exciting to be part of that, that vision and seeing where we can improve it, possibly bringing AI into different aspects of our flow. As we know, that's, that's helpful in many ways.